The real meaning of persona is a mask. Like the actors of ancient times of were on the on the stage in the ancient theaters. And it is quite true that nobody showed himself the way he is. Instead of that, he wears his mask and plays his part. You can say that our everyday conversations are nothing more than from satirical satire. In our everyday life, you find knights, you find lawyers, teachers, policemen, policewoman, you find advocates, you find environmentalists, you find military men, doctors and philosophers. But the majority of them are nothing more than actors with their wearing their part. In reality, the Robin are the way I see it are not more different in them. And they're all in general marketeers, lobbyists, um PRs and other kinds of scums, sadly. We have to deal with this, sadly, for the whole planet. I consider myself like a person, which comes from the word persona, which in what means, so I have explained, a player's mask, an actor's mask. I consider myself one earthling and I will support and I will do what is in my power what benefits this earth as one whole. I am one symbiote because I consider all parts of me. I consider the whole truth. That's the reason I consider myself a symbiote. A symbiote, many types of organisms that work together to um, sustain a larger organism. That means what well, if we are, that's actually what we're being. We are existing out of something like 700 to 1000 types of bacteria. And without this bacteria, we cannot digest our food. We cannot digest our and we cannot synthesize our vitamins. We cannot life actually. We have no immune system. So maybe the old people were right when they say we condemn you when there are only one symbiote. In the room where they're talking to and also the one that condemned is the one maybe the way of talking the old kings and queens of the medieval was not so weird after all <laughs> because we are not one organism maybe this seems crazy to you they can but through past three stages First, this man is ridiculed, second, this is finally imposed, and last, this accepted the servant. So, like most of you, maybe, the, uh, most of you are brainwashed from one early age to consider yourself as one individual. So, I have explained this pretty weird because one individual is one single organism. Most Organisms on this planet are not one single organism. So, what's your defense about against <laughs> that? I want to say. No, it's one single organism, not one single being, is an island on its own. And the way we look on the world in this moment, 
that we talk about the first world, the second world, and the third world, that are actually, if you'll ask me, pretty insane way of thinking. Because we live on one very big uh, planet. We live not on se separate planets, and anything what we do on this place also affects the lives of living beings in other parts of this Earth. So we can rather talk about uh, the first matrix, second matrix, and the third matrix. We can also talk about the five, fifth matrix and fourth matrix. Because a matrix is an illusion, it is a fake reality. This one cognitive dissonance, maybe? Not completely, but of some similarities. When you learn new stuff over time, and you're not a dickhead, your view in the world will change. I also was um, grow up with believing I was one in the world. <laughs> because anybody told me that. Until the day I was thinking and learning, and I was understanding that I exist out of something like I uh, weigh uh, weight around some seventy kilograms. Um, that's the general person from 70 kilograms of something like 40 trillion bacteria cells and 40 trillion I have 40 trillion bacteria cells there's a pretty lot of bacteria indeed most human cells are a little bit bigger in size but still there are also many bacteria that are not harmful for us. For example, vitamin B12. Vitamin B12 is technically a bacteria. It is found by cobalt. In contact with cobalt, that's the reason that they're called it um, cobalt. Um, that's the reason that they're called it. Um, that's the reason they called it Comomatamine. It's one of the names they call for use for vitamin B12. Because when they first find it, it was connected with cobalt. So technically any product that also have cobalt have also vitamin B12. In most cases, or to all cases. One of the reasons the West Speak the of vitamin B12 deficiencies problems is not because there is no vitamin B12. If you ask me, it is because we are cleaning too much of our food. We are too obsessed with some bacteria that can maybe hurt us that we get deficiencies of some vitamins. For example, vitamin B12, at least 40% of the Jewish population have a vitamin B12 deficiency. So, if only something like 1% of well, the people in America are vegan, well, 2% maybe. How can it be a vegan problem? Also, some I consume on some foods can also block vitamin B12 absorption. Cooking destroys vitamin B12 also. So if you have a problem, that's the reason that most people, a lot of people how are vitamin B12 deficiency are actually meat eaters because they cook their flesh, uh, then the vitamin B12 will be G 
activated. Um, we cannot absorb it anymore, and we shit it out. Also, people who are a long time vegan, sometimes, um, again, get the enzymes in the slime that can create uh, vitamin B12. And it was also created in your gut. But there are some things you can eat that can also block it. For example, if you are a very large consumer of garlic, if you are uh, eat a lot of junk food, uh, maybe you will, um, eat a lot of onions and onions and other um, probiotics and uh, natural probiotics. Uh, antibiotics, I mean, extra antibiotics. Uh, that can also cause problems with absorption of vitamin B12. And if you are still have questions about vitamin B12, check out this article of Dr. John Maduko about vitamin B12. I, I sure. If you are read that article. I have no questions about vitamin B12 anymore. <sighs> also, your normal life is also not so viral, also not so much viral if you don't get from one biocentric position. Because we cannot survive without pollinators, we cannot survive without phytoplankton. We cannot survive without most birds, although it's a whole complex ecosystem that we live in. This earth, very complex. But we have to stop believing we are. We have to stop believing we are so special. Not anything have to wait for us. Because we are not important at all. We are just passengers of this planet. Some of, some of the animals are stewards, but we are just passengers. There are some organizations that claim that humans are stewards of this earth. But damage control is not stewardship, people. Clean some of the shit up that other people have uh, done to deserve is not stewardship. It is damage control. We are destroying our host to the planet Earth. We are as a species alone responsible for the sixth mass extinction. Can you claim that we are so smart? If we do that. If you ask me, intelligence is the capacity of an organism to live in harmony with its environment. Now destroying it. And take as much profit from it as possible can. Mm. That's what a parasite think is smart. <laughs> Fifty-one percent of the of the carbon emissions, carbon dioxide emissions of of this uh, plant are directly linked to animal agriculture. According to the World Watch Institute 2060-2070 around that time spot. Also something like 45% of the world's land mass 
is used for animal husbandry or slavery. Not because we have, so, we have too much people on the planet. Yes, I am agree we have too much people on the planet. Because we need a lot of space for other species as well. We have no right to build homes on their habitats. That's a very self-righteous position. If you claim that we have the right to take them, their homes only for greed, selfishness, hatred. Or how you want to call it. You cannot call it love. You cannot say we love so much and therefore we kill um, something like 2.8 trillion marine animals and something like 70 billion marine uh, animals. That's not love. Murdering is not love. Don't listen to creepy people like uh, Ted Bundy. Ted Bundy have no idea even what, my lo what love means. Just like uh, Jeffrey Dahmer don't know what love is. They don't take um, advice from them about what we write. Stop being such a political nepshot. No, Stop being some puppet. Think freely. Think out of this mind. Out of your minds. Start embracing all living beings on this planet. All innocent beings. How nothing intentional harmed you ever in your life. A human, a human being, a human being see themselves as something separate from the rest. When optional delusion of his consciousness. This illusion is a kind of prison, you can say, to restrict themselves from giving only. Not from compassion to giving compassion to all of creations and limited that to only a select group their family members their their co-workers and the people around them we need and we have to learn to extend our compassion to embrace all living beings and nature in its beauty. If we are not will, the Homo ridiculous or Homo sapiens. <laughs> say it even without <laughs> laughing. We will not survive. I cannot say the uh, Homo sapien without laughing. <laughs> because Homo sapien being the wise. Wise people do not destroy anything around them. Only an arrogant self righteous prick will destroy the whole planet. Only for a piece of flesh. And that's a fact. Only an arrogant fool will destroy. This whole beautiful planet, with all the trees, with all the fish, with all the dolphins, and all the monkeys, and all the butterflies, and all the beetles, with all the dragonflies, with all the plants and seeds, and all of it, only for a piece of flesh. A piece of that animal, some secretions of an mammal, of a cow, some periods of an and a, uh, or a maturation, family 
of one chicken. We are not what was intended. Most of us are just drones. I say that's not to be mean or something like that. I say this because this is true. No, I'm not so special, is I? We are just extremely arrogant. Just extremely self righteous as a species. No. Stop this. Stop. I put that mask off. See things clearly. Put the blinders off. Stop playing your puppet game in this puppet society. Right is not right because people tell it. In, things are not immoral because someday, sometimes people decide it. Now it is always that. Th some things are always evil, no matter the victim, no matter if they walk on two legs or no legs. It all. Causing unnecessary harm is violent, cruel, disrespectful, and is hateful. Meat, the eating meat dairy and eggs is a very offensive. And if some of you shock that, you are not watching it from the position of the victims. You watch it from the position of the oppressors. And if that offends you, maybe you have to look yourself in the mirror. Can you look yourself in the mirror? The way you act? Can you face yourself? I mean, if so, if you are the victim in some scenario and somebody acts the same way you do to the victims, the animals, the non-human animals, the non-human animals, peace, compassion, decency, it's not something you talk about on a sunny day. People like Charles Manson and uh, people like Jeffrey Dahmer can also talk nice, and Ted Bundy can also talk nice. <laughs> Do there are good people? Being there good people? Do you think Jeffrey Dahmer uh, was uh, misunderstood and was actually a very good guy? Do you think um, people like Ted Bundy are a very good guy and? are just misunderstand. Thank you, Adolf Hitler was a very good guy. I mean, give, I give him a thumbs up. Do you think that? Oh, uh, that's that Palestinian leader, um, Issa, Issa um, Hamas, yeah, from Hos uh, that leader of, of um, that um, Palestinian criminal government, Hamas. Do you think he's a good guy? Deep inside, you think he is a very good guy, and I want just to give him an hug. <laughs> some people, some choices are very, very evil. If you not want to know what's Force for good and force for evil. Compassionate defense of innocent life is a force for good. And sadistic destruction of innocent life is a force for evil. 
take sides. Neutrality helps the oppressor. Silence encouraged the tormentor. At once. Well, silence help the victims. Wake up. When darkness and light become one, the reality splinter away, the truth will become visible. <laughs>